Yes, so we have developed uh, artificial intelligence based uh, screening uh, technology for identifying those who have, those diabetics who have eye problems. We, we have developed an artificial intelligence based system which actually can be used to screen diabetic patients uh, and identify those who have uh, a diabetic retinopathy. And uh, if, if it is, uh, at the moment, all the patient has to go to specialist for eye screening and, and identify those who need uh, treatment and surgery. But in this way, in the, using this system, we can actually identify those who have severe disease or moderate disease and then refer them appropriately to the specialist rather than the specialist seeing everybody. Uh, so at the moment they block the wait list at public hospitals because uh, some of the patients are normal and mild uh, diabetic retinopathy patients. They don't need to be on the queue so they can be removed. And uh, by using this, our artificial intelligence based system, we can actually filter the patients with mild and normal patients and send only those who need treatment and surgery to the specialist. What Yes, uh, I've been working in the ophthalmology. The ophthalmology is my research area, and, and uh, I've been working for more than a decade in this domain, and I found that there's a huge need uh, for, uh, for um, identifying patients. We did a screening program at the public hospitals in Western Australia, and we found that a uh, lot of the patients who are waiting and blocking the wait list uh, actually, they don't need to be on the wait list. So that is actually prompted me to develop this system uh, such that we can automatically filter the patients who need treatment and surgery and send them to the specialist uh, rather than sending everybody. And which reduce the public, uh, the public hospital wait list for ophthalmology. Tell me about the trials that have happened. Just give me some of the, the Yes, data. so we have seen so far about 187 patients. So all of them come and take the retinal photos here at the clinic, at the GP super, uh, super clinic in Midland. And then the images are sent to uh, ophthalmologists to read, as well as we automatically grade them using our artificial intelligence based system. So we found that uh, there is a highly high correlation between both and we didn't miss anybody with severe disease. And that is very successful for us. Uh, for the future programs. So GPs are the uh, first contact for patients with the diabetic disease. So they actually, so when they come to GPs, that is, that is where they being tested for everything, except eye disease at the moment. So they, if they want to check for eyes, uh, for all the diabetic patients, then they send the patients to optometrist or ophthalmologist, which sometimes they don't go because it's far away. And if you can provide this eye test at the GP level, so then it could be one-stop care delivery for the, for the diabetic patients. So we can actually uh, screen every year or every other year and filter the patients who need treatment and surgery, then that will be an ideal way to, um, uh, to refer patients in a timely manner. Uh, at the moment, GPs actually refer patients to optometrist or ophthalmologist. Uh, which uh, they had to wait for a long time for to see an ophthalmologist, almost six weeks waiting time. Um, so by that time, patients lose interest and they may not go and see the pay doctor or, I mean, it's, they may drop out from the, uh, from the system. So it, it is not good. So in this way, when they come for usual checkup, we can do the eye checkup at the GP level then it's a very uh, efficient way of uh, identifying uh, any um, complication, eye-related complications related to diabetics. Tell me what's the worst case for it in Australia? So what my ideal, my vision is to put these kind of system in all the GP clinics around Australia. So you can screen all of, all the 1.3 million people and, and, and every year sort of thing, or every other year. So we can actually uh, um, uh, identify patients without getting worse uh, early as possible and then refer them to the ophthalmologist. So I'm really excited to see this system making a huge impact to the patient care in Australia and around the world. Uh, so I'm looking forward to rolling out this system worldwide. That's yeah. Best. So uh, based on our, I mean, we have developed this system based on about 30,000 images and then we tested here at the clinic and our accuracy is equally good as the ophthalmologist grading and, and we didn't miss anybody with severe disease. Uh, that is very important. We don't miss anybody who need treatment and, 
and, and uh, Sajid. So we have developed uh, this system at CSRO. This is the world's first uh, artificial intelligence based disease screening system for diabetic retinopathy, which is used in the clinics already. And uh, so I'm really excited to see this the impact it is making. One thing I could say is that GPs, it is easy to use by GPs. They just take a photo and within 30 seconds it gives uh, results. Yes, just done. Yes, so when the patient comes into a GP, then they take a retinal photo by a receptionist or the nurse, and then the photos goes to the goes to the um, server and it is being processed. And within 30 seconds, they will get a reply whether the patient has to be referred or not, not referred. And also it will give the grading as mild, moderate or severe. If it is moderate or severe, then the patient will be referred to the ophthalmologist. If it is below, if it is mild or nothing, uh, no retinopathy, then they will not be referred. I mean, we had to do it while the patient is staying there uh, at the clinic. Uh, if it takes a long time, or 24 hours or two days, so it's, it's then patient lose interest and we miss them as well. So it's better to give the results immediately so the GP can refer immediately uh, the patient as needed.